everybody! Today we're going to make this everyday soft glam makeup look. If you want to know how I made this, just keep watching. First, I'm going to use this foundation from Fenty. I'm just going to take a few dots here and here. Just a little bit everywhere, basically. And I'm going to use this brush. And it just matches the skin so beautifully. And it smells so good. And over the forehead here, I'm going to cover some spots. And I'm going to take a little bit more because you know what Rihanna says. More is more. So that's what we're going for today. All right. And underneath the eye here, the eye area. And always don't forget the neck. Don't forget the neck. I have turned neck now on now, but I will try not to hit my shirt. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to use concealer and I'm going to use this concealer from Loya Paris and I'm going to just take all around the eye area here like this just go messy with it and I like to use concealer at my eyelid and that is because I have tend to very redness around my eyelids and that is why I'm going to cover it up because it helps so much. And then I'm going to use above my nose and at my chin here and here. And now I'm going to just blend it out and I like to use my finger um, because it just goes in naturally like this at my eyelid here and just yeah blend it in very naturally so it's not that you know you don't want that cover up those bags those black bags you don't want them and just go above my nose here I can do this for a while. I like to blend it in. <laughs> and also here at the chin. What I like to do is to use a powder and I'm using this Stay Matte powder and it's from Rimmel London. Just take my powder brush here and I'm just going to just underneath my eye so it holds the concealer and the foundation better. And I'm just going and also at the forehead here, you can get very shiny, so you can take a little bit of powder there. I don't like to use so much powder because I like when your skin gets that a little bit of glow. And now I'm going to use this Maybelline Nudes and I'm going to use this color first, this pink matte color here, right here. Like this so you get that a little bit of pink shade I think it looks so cute and pink is a little bit trendy right now after that we are going to use this one here and we're going to take that on the middle of the eye here so you highlight a little bit you can see that it makes the eyes bigger and the same thing you're going to do to the other eye, you're going to take the pink shade and just take it all over your eyelid here. Like this. And again, using the highlighter and take it at the inner corner here. And also highlight the up over here and then I like to use something for my inner crease I am going to start and taking this 
golden brown shade color and I'm going in the inner corners of my eyes I'm just finding my shape here so just inner corners here and I'm going a little bit under here so you can find the shape and then I'm going to blend it out, so I'm going to use a blush, a brush here to blend it out. And I have this cute unicorn, isn't that good? And then I'm going to just very gently just blend it out. And the same thing you're going to do with the other eye. You find your corner, you find your crease. And you're going to use this bronze color. And just use your time to blend. It's very important that you just keep going, blending. All right. So I'm going to just go over all with the highlighter. So I am going to use this Arena palette and I will use this eyeshadow. I love the names. It calls so extra. And I'm going to use this at the inner, inner, inner corner. So it just opens up the eye area. And again, I'm going to use the same brush as my crease and I am going to use this Revenge eyeshadow. It's a little bit darker and then I will use it to get some depth on the side here. It's a little bit darker here and we do the same on the other eye. And then I will use a little bit darker color and I will use this No Drama. And I'm going just in with it in the inner corner here. So I will create this a little darker vibe here. Again, use my blending brush and I'm going to just like this. So now I'm just going to just blend it all. So I use a lot of colors, but it's a different brown golden shade tones with the pink. I'm going to use a black eyeliner, Maybelline New York eyeliner. And it's very special because it has this. I'm just going to do a little ring, not a, not a big ring, but just a short one all the way down to the eyelashes. And the same you're going to do with the other eye. And when you're done with your eyeliner, you are going to the lashes. And the lashes, we are going to use this, let me see, Loyal Paris. And I'm just going to start at the inner lashes here and I'm just going to curl it up so to give that beautiful volume here and just give the lashes that Bambi doll effect and that is what I want. All right here you see the difference uh, with this eye and this eye and I like to use mascara at the side 
because it will give that double effect look. And the same you're going to do with the other eye. So just use all the way from the bottom of your lashes and just curl it up here. Right, and I like to just take the eyelashes and just take the mascara and just whip it up so you could get that side lash. I like that look. All right, so that was the lashes. Now we're going to the fun part. We are going to do the skin. So first we are going to take some bronzer to just warm up the face a little bit. I'm going to use this unicorn brush. It's so cute. So I'm going to use this bronzer here called MILF. Amazing. I'm not a mom, but amazing. And I'm going to just warm up the face. So I take... I'm just going to find the cheekbone here, go all the way here, down to the neck, all right, and here you do the same. So I'm just going to take the bronzer here to cover up that long forehead I have. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I have a long forehead, but whatever. And I'm going to just take it here, just go mix it with it. And then I'm going to just take a little bit and take it here at the side of my nose. So it will appear more small. All right, now we're going to the fun part. We are going to use blush and I love brush. Brush is like everything to me for makeup. Uh, many people don't like it because they think it looks so, you know, they don't like the wetness, they like the very matte look, but I love brush. I think it gives life to your face or it gives something to your appearance. You know, it makes you look more fresh and make, makes you look more cute. And I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty blush and it's this stick and I'm going to just Put it here at my baby cheeks. After the brush, I'm going to use highlighter. So I'm going to use this so extra. I'm going in just up here and all the way up to the eye here. And I'm going to take a little bit down here and highlight my nose in the middle of the nose and above my eyebrows here so you can see how we get that beautiful sparkle here and with a little bit of pink shade of course we are going to do my brows because my brows now are very thin and very weird. I don't like them always to be very painted. I like them to be very natural. So uh, I just take a brow mascara and I'm just going to take it up here so it looks more natural. So I'm going to use this L'Oreal Paris. I'm going to just follow my natural brow here and I'm going to just Go up here and just down. I like the brows to go up like this. Now we're going to do the other brow. Let's do the lips. I'm going to use this Fenty and it's called Fuzzy and just go all the way to my lips here. It's so beautiful. It has that beautiful shine to it. All the way here. Down. 
think is so pretty because it just give that shine, you know, I love it. And it just matches the blush and everything. I love it. You know, if you're going out and you have done this makeup, it's very important to use a setting spray. I love setting sprays because it holds the makeup. And uh, this setting spray from Milani, Make It Dewy, uh, it holds six hours. So we're just going to open it and spray all over the face. So it's going. So there we have it. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell down below so you can follow my upcoming videos. Hope you like this and I hope you want to follow me and have my journey. Thank you so much. Bye. You don't want that. What I'm saying. Yeah. Um, and um, I am going to find